I guess let's first let's before we talk about the event, let's talk about your company that's uh, behind it. Uh, sure. Uh, NGL Media Entertainment Space. Uh, it's been around what since two thousand? Is that correct? Well, I have worked in this space uh, since you know, er, you know early to mid nineties. But uh -huh. NGL Collective is actually my second company with actor John Leguizamo. Uh, we had another company with a funny name called iCaramba.com. <laughs> Fantastic. Most people feel like I've heard of that before, uh, <laughs> whether you have or not, right? Yeah. And uh, we started that in the early 2000s, and we sold that around 2006. So NGL is actually our second venture, and we started that around 2012, uh, once we sort of you know, got our footing around it. Yeah, so it's been a few years, though, doing NGL. Oh, very cool. I also saw you have a podcast too. So, um, yeah, like, uh, I, it was hashtag something. I, I'm blanking on the name. I had a podcast that was called Total Market Talk. Um, and now we have a vodcast. So it's all video based. Oh, called, okay. Called, called, called kind of like you, uh, yeah. called uh, Hispanicize Hangout uh, that we're really excited about. Very cool. All right. So tell people about the event coming up on July 1st. You got some very uh, big people, special guests are going to be on there. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Hispanicize Unidos Together Virtual Summit, as we call it, is the largest virtual gathering of Latinx influencers, content creators, entrepreneurs, and media and entertainment innovators, all grounded around this initiative that we created called Unidos Together. Uh, so the goal is you know, aimed at being a force for good in the Latinx community and, and creating a lot of dialogue about what's going around, on around COVID recovery and, of course, the Black Lives Matter movement, which also impacts our community. Unidos Together is a platform that we created right at the beginning of, of the pandemic, where we essentially uh, put together our owned and operated assets, starting with Hispanicize. There's actually two others. One is called Hispanic Kitchen, the other Latina Moms, uh, who are also sort of leaning in on, on all this initiative as a whole. And it was intended to entertain, inform, and empower our followers in the Latinx community as a way of uh, providing a platform for them during COVID recovery. And of course, as the world has evolved in the last couple of months, now also um, is leaning in on everything going on with, with Black Lives Matter as well. So we're gonna be having some really important and amazing conversations happening on Wednesday, July the 1st, live. And um, we're excited to be breaking some new ground because um, you know, in our space, there hasn't been a lot of this sort of activity and Hispanicize is, is a great platform through which to communicate all this and is really a positive platform for the community as well. I love it. Is there a way people can interact with the guests or is there a way they can submit questions somehow or? Yeah, so we're gonna have uh, a chat feature where of course people can comment all they want. That's number one. Um, we also have a plugin that's gonna be aggregating all of the social activity that's happening in real time. So even though you're gonna be on hispanicize.com watching, um, right below the main player, it's gonna be pulling in images and you know hashtags and you know posts and videos and everything showing sort of the conversation that's happening uh, in real time because we can't obviously be together. Um, that's a way of sort of pulling it all in. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, we're calling it a gamification aspect of it, where if you interact with our sponsors and our partners, uh, there's ways for you to win uh, gift cards and ultimately an iPhone 11 Max Pro, I think it's called, whatever the best one is. We're gonna be giving one of those away, uh, you know, and by doing these small tasks, you know, socializing our event, interacting with our sponsors, showing that you're engaged, it automatically enters you for a chance to win. So it's going to be really interactive for sure. That's very important because a lot of events like this can't happen without sponsors. Uh, let me, looks like you got Pepsi, Google, Nelson, anybody else that's going to be sponsoring? So far, Pepsi, Google, and Nielsen are our three. Um, there might be a few more who join, who dare to join us, you know, uh, in this first endeavor. We really appreciate their support. They just, they just get it, you know, every which way. And, um, as you said, we couldn't do this without them. So it's really important that we have sponsors. The event also, it enables us to offer it for free, which is critical. And we've had thousands and thousands of people already pre-register for the event. And of course, the day of, there's going to be just a ton of organic activity, you can imagine, uh, that people are finding out in the moment. Uh, very cool. Um, so we all go to the website, we all go and watch it, and we're all going to engage, and we're all going to learn. I can't wait. Absolutely. You won't believe the speaker lineup. It's unbelievable. Very cool. Uh, is there any, anyone you're allowed to talk about the announcement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I, mean, I didn't look, know if it was secret or not. <laughs> no, not at all. There are no secrets with our virtual summit. So if you okay. go to hispanicize.com right now, 
uh, just to rattle off a few, uh, we have the, the great iconic rapper, Fat Joe. We have nice. my business partner and friend, John Leguizamo. Mm -hmm. We have Diane Guerrero uh, from Orange is New Black and Jane the Virgin. Dasha Polanco, of course, uh, also of Orange is the New Black, and she has a new movie coming out in the Heights, which you might have heard of with the guy oh, named yeah. Manuel Miranda. Really cool. Um, what we're really super excited about is this, we have a panel that's all on activism. So get this, mm -hmm. we have the amazing, iconic Dolores Huerta, who is 90 years old and has been an activist in our community you know, for, for decades at this point. Um, and she's gonna be joined by Maria Teresa Kumar, who runs an organization called Voto Latino, so getting out the Latinx vote. Luis Guzman, the famous actor and now activist. Um, we have also Luis A. Miranda Jr., which is Lin-Manuel's dad, who's also a big activist. Um, and we have, from the younger generation, we have someone named Kim Guerra, who is an Ivy League graduate, author, and artist, and she goes by Brown Badass Bonita. So <laughs> she's like a young Dolores Huerta, you know, with social media behind her. Um, and it's gonna be moderated by Paula Ramos, who's the daughter of the amazing uh, journalist Jorge Ramos. Uh, so that conversation in particular is gonna be just off the charts. And um, there's so many more, you know, we have a TV and, and film panel. We're gonna be honoring uh, uh, people who are frontline COVID workers, essential workers, we're really excited about and tell their stories, sort of in like a, a CNN Heroes type of format. It's called the Latin Excellence Awards. Oh, I love um, that. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be highlighting Latinx small business owners, which, by the way, is the fastest growing sector of small businesses here in the U.S. and, of course, greatly impacted by COVID and really important to shine a spotlight on them. We're going to have a, um, we're calling it a Mercadito or a little virtual marketplace that we're doing with our partner, a uh, group called Mocajete Dominguero. So think of it as like a, a Latinx home shopping network. And so if at any given time you're like, oh, you know, I'd prefer to, you know, not watch this particular panel or engage, check out the Latinx Home Shopping Network or Mercadito. And we have 30 different small businesses who are going to be talking about themselves and selling product in real time. So it's just a million ways to Sunday for you to interact and forgetting the vibe of this thing. Um, it's not going to be like a typical, you know, I hate to say it, whatever, whatever yeah. Zoom call. We love Zoom, by the way. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't do it without Zoom. But you know what I mean? It's going to be entertaining and exciting and energetic. And uh, at times, we're going to go really deep on some difficult subjects that need to be talked about. But it's all good, wrapped up in this idea of unidos together or united together. Uh, how'd you get hooked up with your partner, John? I mean, he's an amazing actor. I mean, uh, I'm a big dork. I love Spawn. He played the killer clown. In it, you know, yeah, entirely. yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. I have a few artifacts from John's movie over the year, movies over the years, and I have those crazy teeth that he wore. Like I have those, like uh, in a drawer at my house. It's crazy. <laughs> For you Spawn fans, don't worry. Yeah. They're not going to. Go, John, don't worry. They're not going to go on eBay in case you're watching. <laughs> I still have them. Uh, but so John and I met. It's crazy. You know, this is as I said earlier, back in the early 2000s. I had this crazy idea to start this uh, social media platform called iCaramba.com. So this is. Keep in mind, this is 99, 2000. Facebook didn't launch till 2004, folks. Yeah. So before there was Facebook, there was iCaramba. And iCaramba was sort of counter-programming, if you will, in the digital space, because it was all in English, as we like to say, in culture. So a little bit different than the traditional Spanish stuff that was out there, as, as, as so much is associated with our community. Everything's in Spanish, and uh, for, a, I'll say, a, a certain sector of the population. We thought, what about the younger generation? Aren't they the ones who are most connected? And how could we not do something that's geared towards them? So John being who he is and me being who I am, we were essentially on a collision course to meet up. And I had worked with celebrities before, so I knew how to navigate that. Called up his agent. He actually had a digital agent back in 2000. So quite progressive, someone over at William Morris, so I'll never forget. And uh, he signed on essentially to be the spokesperson of iCaramba.com which later became a company called Latcom that we sold. So it evolved mm -hmm. from my caramba. Okay. And then, and then John is now a partner in NGL. And at this point, 20 years later, if you can believe that, he's a friend of mine and we're doing some great things together still, as you can see. I love that. Well, David, thank yeah. you so much. And we'll see you on July 1st. I love it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. July 1st, hispanicize.com. Check it out. Unidos Together Virtual Summit. Thank you. All right, man. You take care.